Day number two of the 30 day fishing challenge. Brett Priscilla out with me today. We're gonna be fishing the Occoquan Reservoir, do a little bit of pre-fishing for Sunday's tournament. First thing I noticed, the water temperature has already dropped about 10 degrees, which is awesome in the last two weeks that I've been out. So hopefully these fish are gonna be a little bit shallow. Also experienced a bunch of rain this morning. You can see it's very overcast. Should be a good day, so let's get on them. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, real, real, real. Real. Woo! Oh. Keep going, keep going. Okay, let him stay. Let him stay. Let him stay. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, baby. Hey, where's my worm? It blew up. Show me that fish. Perfect. What'd you catch that fish on? A uh, black and purple five inch Senko. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Check it out. Awesome. That's a little keeper there. Very good. All right, so that fish Priscilla just caught was in the back of this little creek here. And in my experience with rain and drop in water temperature, it will really push the fish up and definitely into the back of the creek. So hopefully we can keep this bite going. It should be fun. I got bit back here. She caught a fish immediately after. So we're going to jump around from little pocket to pocket and see if this pattern will hold true. Right, like kind of underarm almost. Underhand. So. Perfect. Perfect. You can skip it under there. Try it. I bet. Just do it. It's okay. <laughs> That's close. Six inches lower is going way under there. Oh my god! Damn. You see that? No. One like literally chased it out. My goodness. It's so weird. It's like they don't have it all the way or something. No, I'm, I'm sucking right now. I think I just broke the break off. It's so weird. There we go. Whew, finally. Fish number one for the day for me. So I caught that fish on a magic crawl swirl sweet beaver, Texas rigged in about six feet of water off some wood cover. Still kind of back in this little pocket off the main lake. Tell us Priscilla, how do you fish your wacky worm? It's all about how you wiggle your worm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's the third spot of the day. We're going to continue with this little pocket pattern see if that's going to keep going. We got a few bites at the last spot and caught one fish. We saw some fish too, which is good. We're going to try this a little bit longer. right at the boat. It's a good sign though. Pattern's holding up. Switched over to a Missile Baits Destroyer. It's black and blue. Basically when I'm pre-fishing, I'm just trying out a bunch of different baits and see what they'll bite. I have my main baits that I fish during tournaments, but always good to try different things when you're pre-fishing to see you know, if they like that a little bit more. Real, 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 real. Good job. Woo! Look at that. Number two. Get him in. Come on. Bam. Get a good picture of him. Me too. Are you winning right now? 
I am winning right now. I didn't even realize. Yep. Thanks, little guy. Fans. Follow me on YouTube, Jigs and Jugs. <laughs> All right, second fish for Priscilla coming on another wacky worm. Oh wait. <laughs> Oh my god. What? <laughs> Came off at the boat. It's okay, I'm still getting smoked. I thought you said they didn't like that color. No, I said I bet they're not going to like this color. Alright guys, we're finishing up here on the Aquaban Reservoir today. Day two of the 30 day fishing challenge. Priscilla crushed me today. Jigs and jugs. <laughs> she had four fish. I had one. I missed a bunch that I shouldn't have. Caught fish on wacky worms. I caught some on Texas rigs. I fished a chatter bait. I fished a buzz bait. I fished crank bait. Caught nothing. They weren't chasing moving baits whatsoever. So hopefully Sunday they're a little bit more active. Probably come out here again tomorrow and do a little bit more pre-fishing. But till then, take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow.